Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this coffee cozy for a bridal party. And this is the brides, but this could be made for bridesmaids in the wedding colors or groomsmen and make it look like little black tuxes. There could be little flowers on top for the stopper or balloons for happy birthday. There is just unlimited amounts of what could be done with these coffee cozies. I love them. I used the Paper Tray Ink Coffee Cozy Set and they come in two dies and usually you cut one of each but I cut two of just the larger because I was using a larger cup. The die cut pieces have little score lines on them where you glue and so you just simply fold it over and glue it together. Since I was using the two larger pieces um, I also had to leave room for an inside piece of craft foam so that it would function as a real cozy. You wouldn't have to do that. You could just make a decorative one that would go over top of a cozy that came from the coffee shop. But I went ahead and just did one with the craft foam. So I needed mine to be just a little bit larger and the trick was figuring out where to uh, glue it and seal it off. So I actually put it on the mug and made just a little mark where to not put the craft foam. So you'll see me here um, putting the craft foam and I glue it down on that far left starting at the little mark that I made so that that overlap can be used to glue. Now on the right side it hangs way over because it is it is large. So you'll see me just trimming that off so that it's flush with that right side. And then that glue, um, the glue line, will just be on the left side and we'll glue it on over. So the whole trick here is just getting it to fit right. And that's accomplished by putting it on there, making your little marks, um, just kind of messing around with it until it fits and then glue it. So again, I think that like a 12 ounce mug, I don't think you'd have any problem just using the die as it is, um, just easy. But I just wanted to show how to modify it a little bit because different mugs are different sizes so
So I had embossed this vellum for the background of the butterfly. And this particular die, it, um, it's the Asti and the Willow Bee from Memory Box. They are made to not completely come out of the paper. So you just have to kind of clip that off a little bit on both. And this is the Willow Bee part. And also, this butterfly is going to be sitting on the little stopper that goes in the latte uh, or coffee lid. And so I made two of these willow bee portions so that one could be glued on the front and one could be glued on the back so that there was no wrong side to the butterfly. And so I didn't realize that that needed to be done until I had kind of put it together. So you'll see me um, doing that here. And here I'm just layering uh, the vellum on top over top of the cardstock uh, antenna body parts. And um, it just gives it kind of that mother of pearl look. It's just beautiful with that embossing powder. All supplies will be listed below, but this was that WOW um, pearlized embossing powder. And I used an Impression, of, impression Obsession uh, stamp to make that, that swirly background. But then you just assemble it, and I did use hot glue to put it on top of the stopper lid. It just helped secure that butterfly even more. Here I'm putting that second layer on the back. And then I actually did a second layer of just the vellum body part. So it's got the wings and the body part on both sides. And so this would be fun to make for the entire bridal party. Maybe instead of a white uh, butterfly, it could have little flowers that match the, the different dresses and the colors of the wedding. Um, you could do a, a black one in the shape of a tux for the groomsmen and deliver their lattes, um, wedding morning lattes in those. So thank you so much for stopping by and, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for stopping.